Hi, I'm Andrew Dye, the Operations Director for Unity Homes, and we're here on a Unity job site in Hanover, New Hampshire, very close to downtown Hanover. We're going to do a quick tour of a completed shell today. So this is, happens to be a project that Unity is general contracting, so our own crews and our own subs are going to continue to work on this shell uh, from this point on. But for many of our projects, we're providing either a shell package or what we call a tempo package to the project, and then a local builder is actually finishing the shell. And so this tour, I hope, will give you a good idea of what the shell is like that our crew leaves behind and what you, if you're a local builder, have to work with. I want to just take a minute to talk about the design of the home. It's a VARM, which means that it's a two-story house. The basic core of the VARM is 24 feet wide by 36 feet long, and it's got this gable roof. So you can see that core kind of buried within the shell of this home. This particular bump out on the end here on the gable end is about 14 feet deep and 24 feet wide. Often this bump out will be used for a first floor master suite. In the case of this particular project, they're calling it a kind of a family guest space, uh, but it will be set up with a bathroom, so it uh, can be used eventually as a master suite. We've also got a connector here that connects the house to a garage, and then we've got an entry porch as well. These are all standard components within Unity's design system for the VARM, and they can be configured in different ways so that each farm we build is actually a little different. We've also got a couple of porches on the other sides of the house. There's sort of a farmer's porch that runs across the far gable end, and there's a screen porch on the far eave side. We'll go take a look at those now. Here you can see a slab and about half the slab is covered. Uh, we've put up this structure for the screen porch on it. Uh, this will get enclosed with screen panels. It's a standard size screen porch for Unity projects and it's got these double doors that come out from the main living area. And then there's actually another porch around this gable end of the house. Uh, we call that a farmer's porch and it extends across the full width of the house. And then you can also see from this side the connector that connects to the garage. So I want to just take a minute and talk about the windows. The windows and the doors are typically pre-installed in the wall panels in our shop. We'll do all the doors but one so that there's one door opening that's open for construction access. Pre-install the windows with, with all the flashings and the tapes and the sill pans uh, so that they're finished and ready to be trimmed out. Um, we will supply the metal pan, the sill pan that goes on the exterior. That's part of the shell package. We don't typically install the extension jams that are needed because that's part of the exterior trim. So if we're just providing a shell package, then uh, we provide the metal sill pans, but we don't provide the extension jams or any of the exterior trim for the windows. Let's go inside through this entry porch. So we're in the connector now. Um, this is kind of a utility area and it's going to be set up also for laundry. So there's going to be washer and dryer hookups in the right hand side of this space. And then this space here is actually a little powder room, a little half bath. So you can see this sort of a transition space between the inside and the outside. Um, we'll go into the main volume now of the VARM. So this is that 24 foot wide by 36 foot long main core. You can see the stairs along the right hand side of this. That's the typical standard location for stairs in a VARM. And you can also see these timbers that are typical of the VARM where they run the full length of the VARM, the 36 feet, and they create basically kind of a utility aisle on one side that includes the stairs and some mechanical space, and they separate that utility aisle from the main living areas. The kitchen is going to be in this corner. Again, a pretty typical location for the kitchen in a VARM. So we've got an L-shaped kitchen here. In the middle of this space will be the dining area. And then at the far end, more of a living area with access out to that screen porch and also access to that family guest space at the far end. This space over here that's been framed up is going to be a home office. And I believe that they're going to be pocket doors that will separate this public space, more common space from that home office. And then if we come around the corner here, this will be mechanical space. Uh, so we'll put the ventilation system in here, the water heater will be in here. Any other mechanical systems that are needed will fit neatly into this space here and also under the stairs. Why don't we take a quick look here at what would uh, 
often be a master bedroom wing in a VARM, but again, in this case, it's, uh, we're calling it the, the family guest space, so there's gonna be a bathroom down in that corner. This is a walk-in closet, and there's a very generous sleeping area with vaulted ceilings that makes up the main part of this addition. And this will get uh, pocket doors as well that'll separate it from the main part of the house. You can see some of the electrical that's been stubbed up. That's for a kitchen island that's, again, pretty typical for the, var for the kitchens in the farms, as well as various plumbing and other stub ups. All right, let's go upstairs and see what we could find up there. By the way, these are construction stairs that we build in our shop and we fly in with a crane as part of the raising. It just makes everything a lot easier on site when we have a real set of stairs as opposed to running up and down ladders. Okay, so again, typical kind of partee or layout for the VARM is to have this hallway that's parallel to the stairs that uh, spans between what are typically either a bathroom at each end of the building or sometimes a bathroom and a laundry area at opposite ends of the VARM. And then there's typically three rooms here on the other side of the, um, on the other side of the VARM basically that are bedrooms. And so that's what we have here. Full bedrooms, uh, each one with, a, with its own closet that have been framed up on the second floor. A lot of nice light coming in here, even with the plastic still on the windows. So with, on the, with farms on the second floor of the farm, typically they have a flat ceiling and that's what you see here because the roof is framed with trusses. If it was a xyla, there's an option to have vaulted space with insulated roof panels. That's the way we build the trad and the zoom as well. But the, the VARM typically has flat ceilings on the second floor. We create the air barrier with this membrane, this MyPel membrane that you can see, and then we strap down from that in order to um, provide for wiring and something to fasten the interior partitions to. Uh, in the far end of the building, you can see the tub that was actually flown in during the raising. So that's up here on the second floor. We don't have to struggle to get that up now that everything is framed up. You can also see here in these studs that they have these holes pre-drilled. That's for wiring. So we do that in the shop with the CNC machinery and it makes wiring these houses go more quickly. One other thing to point out about the windows here, these windows do have extension jams pre-installed on the inside. We've done that in the shop and these extension jams are set up to get a particular finished detail that is common for Unity Homes that involves a, a beveled uh, sheetrock corner and then they're ready for hardwood sills that'll be finished naturally. So it's a kind of a common detail in our homes to have these sheetrock returns and then have the natural finished sill. You may notice that a lot of the timbers have these, um, these numbers and names stamped on them, and that actually happens automatically in the shop. There's an inkjet printer on the CNC machine that does all the cutting and shaping. It uh, prints the unique part number for each part as it comes off the machine so that we know exactly where it goes in the house, and those part numbers are cross-referenced to the 3D model that we use on the computer. I like that the guys put the punch list here on the window plastic. It looks like everything's crossed off on the punch list, so that's a good sign. Here we are back on the first floor. You can see this door that goes out to that farmer's porch that we mentioned, uh, but we'll exit this way through the connector and the main entrance. And we'll take a quick look in the garage while we're here. So again, the roof framing in the garage is trusses, just like the main house and the connector, but these are storage trusses, so there will be a way to get up to that space in the middle for storing things above the garage. Uh, two by six framing in the garage, you can see it's uninsulated, but we've got the same windows in the garage that match 
the windows in the house. We've staged stuff here for the next steps that'll be happening on site. Uh, the main thing is to get the roof on. So our crew started working here, assembling the shell on site um, two weeks ago. Today's Friday afternoon. They started two weeks ago on a Monday. They had the shell up and weather tight by the end of last week. So by last Friday, there were a couple days this week when that they spent installing interior partitions and doing various punch list items. And they were pretty much wrapped up by Wednesday. The project manager from Unity did a walkthrough with the electrician and with the client on Wednesday to confirm locations of switches and light fixtures and things like that. And now we're ready to go. So the next thing will be to install the roofing, uh, the roof trim and the roofing. You can see shingles and other materials here for that. And the subcontractors will get going on their rough ends, the electrical, the plumbing, and the HVAC on the interior. Uh, we're expecting the house to be done in a couple of months. And I hope that you found this little tour of the completed shell helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.